You don't need me to pray. You can pray wherever you are. You can pray in your home. You can pray at your place of work. You always pray for your nation in the church. But there is always something symbolic when the leaders of the nation say to the people of the nation, let us pray. I want it to be known that this is not of my hands, that I am a follower, that my heart has been moved to support this initiative because it is a good initiative. We pray not because we don't want to work. We pray because we recognize that our work, our own efforts, will never be good enough. We pray because we recognize that there is a force that is stronger than us. We pray because even the mightiest warrior in the midst of war, hoping for the victory, turns his head to the heavens and asks for God to let the sun stand still so that we can win over the evil forces. Eternal God and Father, we worship and exalt your name. You are God above all gods, governments, institutions, the church, and above all of us. And now, O oh God, according to your will and purpose, I come into agreement with all prayers which have been prayed and ask that you grant them in Jesus' name. Eternal Father, throughout our history, many have wronged us, our loved ones and our nation from time to time. We forgive them all and give these matters into your hands today. Lord God and Eternal Father, I come to you today on behalf of my nation, my family, my wife is here with me in prayer. And every family and person in Jamaica I come as Prime Minister of Jamaica on behalf of myself and all leaders of the state and their various administrations, staff, operational arms, and their various agents and agencies. Lord God and Eternal Father, I come acknowledging that we have sinned against the people of Jamaica We have sinned against our fellow man. We have sinned against our family members and relatives. We have sinned against our neighbors, strangers and visitors. We have sinned against the children, the youth and the unborn. We have sinned against the poor and the weak and the elderly and the sick. We have sinned against the free and the imprisoned. We have sinned against those 
in the care of the state, including the children, the mentally ill, the elderly, the prisoners, and others. We repent, O oh God, of all our sins committed against these and all persons, local and international, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come on behalf of all the political leaders, government and opposition. I come on behalf of the Parliament of Jamaica, all the cabinet members, all the senators, the legislature, all members of the judiciary and the penal system, and members of the security forces, O oh Lord. I come on behalf of all institutions, individuals and groups throughout Jamaica represented in the civil governance system, along with their administrations, managers, staff, membership and followers. I come acknowledging that we have sinned against you. We have sinned against our people and we repent and we ask for forgiveness, mercy and cleansing in Jesus' name. Hear our prayer and forgive us of all sins in Jesus' name. Lord, I come to you on behalf of every Jamaican here in Halfway Tree Square, every Jamaican throughout the land, and every Jamaican in the diaspora. We hereby seek your face and turn from our wicked ways asking for your mercies and forgiveness for our sins and seek by faith and by choice to humble ourselves in your sight, acknowledging our sins individually and collectively. We now take responsibility for our sins as we come to you. Grant us grace to obey you in Jesus' name. We also acknowledge, as described in the words of Daniel the prophet, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep your commandments, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgivenesses. Though we have rebelled against him, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servant, the prophets. O my God, Incline thy ear, and hear, open thine eyes, and behold our desolation, and the city which is called by thy name. For we do not present our supplications before thee for our righteousness, but for thy great mercies. O Lord, hear, O Lord, forgive, O Lord, hearken and do, defer not. For thine own sake, O oh my God, for the city and the people are called by thy name. Teach us thy way and lead us into thy paths. Give us sight and direction. Teach us true respect for all and give us a heart that fears you and regards the sanctity of life. Heavenly Father, it is our deep desire for our nation to be released from the burden of the sins of our past and to be reconciled to Almighty God. Have mercy and grant us our present and grant us our request. 
grant us national healing and restoration and transformation and reformation as only you can in Jesus' name. Keep us free from evil powers. Be our light through countless hours. We decree and declare that Jamaica under God shall increase in beauty, fellowship and prosperity and play her part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. Grant us these mercies and blessings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.